2010 brings the groundbreaking of a $42 million renovation of the old barn to a new state-of-the-art convention center. Here you are looking at the west entry of Veterans Memorial Auditorium. The original stone facade will be opened, allowing natural light to penetrate the complex. Seven glass panels will replace the stone, expressing various events that have taken place in Vets, from the circus to graduations and sporting events to Elvis. The Skywalk entrance will showcase Vets as it was and the amazing history the building has lived thus far. Stepping through the new entry, we arrive into Memorial Hall. Veterans Memorial Auditorium was built to honor our veterans and the renovation is no different. Memorial Hall will feature Polk County's commitment to honoring Iowa's veterans through exhibits dedicated to the bravery and allegiance of Iowa servicemen and women. Eight kiosks will walk visitors through a timeline of Iowan service. Memorial Hall documents images, personal stories, and statistics from every conflict since Iowa statehood in 1846. This hall will commemorate the thousands of Iowans who served their country in times of war and peace. I'm really grateful and happy we're going to have the veterans' histories. We're going to have a history starting all the way back to the Mexican-American War and the panels that they'll have showing the different histories. That's going to be great. I'm glad um, that all the directors, county supervisors, everybody that's had a hand in this about getting that. It really is going to improve and enhance Vets Auditorium, but you'll be able to tangibly see this is where people have been. This is what we're about when we talk about veterans, and these were Iowa veterans. The current arena floor is being transformed into meeting and exhibit space with the new renovation. The arena bowl will be demolished, transforming this level into 21 meeting rooms joined by operable walls. A main concourse linking the west and east entrances of the facility will feature eight 30-foot tall by 16-foot wide projectors that will display imagery from the natural Iowa landscape to corporate logos for specific events. The flexibility of the movable walls separating the meeting rooms allows this level to be opened up in its entirety for exhibition space. Walking down the main concourse of the meeting room level, the east entrance unveils itself. This full height atrium space will be filled with sunlight from the 12 new punched windows in the east facade of the building. Entering into the east lobby from Hy-Vee Hall will soon be an impressive experience. The 65 foot ceiling height and grand stair transforms this entry into something memorable. From here, the dual glistening Torchair fixtures guide visitors to the exquisite ballroom level. While progressing up the grand stair, each visitor will pass by the new windows capturing a view of Wells Fargo Arena and relocated artwork of Ding Darling's 1937 Memorial Day cartoon depicting war veterans returning home from the clouds. Shall they come back remembering while we, alas, forget? This image will be paired with a complimentary piece of new art glass. We are now arriving at the top of the grand stair overlooking the pre-function area and the ballroom entrance. This interior is clad with rich materials from curved wood entry walls and colorful art glass to plush colorful carpets pulling inspiration from the beautiful Iowan landscape. This is standing in the pre-function area of the ballroom level looking back at the new windows in the east facade along with the commemorative art glass panels. This 13,000 square foot pre-function area is flanked with two additional meeting rooms and will be utilized as additional exhibit space and also the pre-function area to events held in the ballroom. The 28,500 square foot ballroom space is covered by an elegant cloud system that begins to reveal the existing barn structure. Ballroom events will range from exhibitions to lavish dinners and everything in between. The sophisticated lighting also has flexibility to be brightly illuminated or reduced to a twilight setting where the ceiling emulates a night sky depending on the affair. The expansive ballroom is also divisible by an operable wall, splitting the room into two separate spaces. I'm very glad to see Vets Memorial Auditorium being renovated, remodeled, and changed, but also the directions they're going. It was originally started uh, to be a memorial to World War II veterans, uh, but I was glad to see the way it, it changed and emerged over the years. It was a dedication really to all veterans of all eras. As we look back on an Iowa icon and look forward to its new life, there is no doubt that people are happy that Vets is living on. Well, I'm glad to see it uh, expand and move on. I was, I was hoping I'd get to work in the new building, but it never happened. Uh, but uh, I have had a tour through it, and it's a, really a great building. I like it. I say I met an awful lot of good friends there. I made a lot of good friends at Vets that have lasted for a lifetime. It's a been a great venue to see a diverse set of great events. Veterans Memorial Auditorium was and will continue to be an important part of Iowa culture. Thanks for watching. Thank you.